This is the Pro One, probably my favourite monophonic synthesizer. It was used for probably most of the sounds on the first Yazoo record. It's got a really warm sound. It's got a very fast envelope, so again, it's good for percussive stuff or basses. Yeah, this is uh, this is the Syrinx, and um, it's got just a really unique sound. It's very metallic sounding. What, what have you used this on? Again, I mean, we've you all, all, nearly all of this stuff has been on all the Eurasia records. You know, I try and use different synthesizers throughout the album. You know, I don't. If I get stuck on one synthesizer, then obviously everything's going to sound the same. So. I spoke to my friend um, Martin Ware from Heaven 17. Uh, I asked him about the first Human League record, and I said, hey, you know, how did you get those drum sounds? Because they're all, they were so it was out there. And he said, we were just trying to make real drum sounds. That was, that's as good as we could get. We didn't want it to sound like that. But um, I think sometimes that's the way I work. You know, you, you aim for something, and then you get something that you weren't expecting in the end. Yeah, happy accidents. Exactly, yeah. That's a good name for a band. Happy accidents? Yeah, it sounds like a real cheerful little duo or something. I mean, Erasure now, we've been together for almost 25 years, you know. And I think because we've always been more interested in the songwriting over style, that people really appreciate that. You know? Everybody likes a good tune. I'm so What makes a perfect pop song, do you think? Something that's, that has, a, well, obviously, a catchy chorus, but also that, something that has a bit of tension in it, either with the lyric or with the disharmony, that then um, it's almost like then you get a, like, kind of a, like a, an emotional release when that goes away. That might be the chorus or something like that. that so that's to me, is a, it's great writing. Did you start off writing guitar? Yeah, I started playing guitar and um, writing on, on guitar, yeah. and still still do actually. Not on synth. No, no. All the when, when we myself and Andy from Erasure uh, write for our albums, then we'll invariably use acoustic guitar and sometimes piano. So the electronics and the synthesizers, you know, that's just the, that's the tools of the trade, really. It just so happens to be what I enjoy using, you know, but. When it comes down to it, you know, the songs that, that we write now, you can play on the guitar and they'll still sound like pretty good songs. We never write with synthesizers because it would just be too distracting. You know, before we go into make it turn it into a record, the song has to be great. So, you know, and you always have to keep that that that, that the song in your head whilst you're making the sounds for it. To make a drum sound, I use the filter. <laughs> How often do you find yourself going to the 2600 for drum sounds? For kicks, a lot. So it's got like a really, lo a really good uh, low end. And it's really a case of you know just kind of like messing about with it. And when we used to work with with uh, Daniel, the first time doing the first Fresh Mode album, he would be hours on this thing, and it would drive us completely mad. <laughs> just the sound of this thing going, you know, making these sounds all day. Can, can you add other rhythms into that? Yeah, so I mean, what I would do is like I'd start off with the kick drum, say, and then I'm using this System 100M, and it's really simple because it's um, that's the sound of the filter, and a very simple drum sound would just be to add some white noise to that. And you can tune it, and that's kind of a simple. You know, snare drum sound. So, so can you have it so that that, that kick is running at the same time as yeah, the snare, and it's to get it. I've got this. It's, it's being triggered by the ARP sequencer. So if I say using this for a bass sound, say, basic bass sound, and then I can change the notes here randomly. I, I tend not to write melody lines so much on this. It's more kind of like vibes and grooves and stuff, you know. Uh -huh. But it's good fun, like working like this, you know. Yeah, it's great. 
It's a lifelong love affair, and it's, um, you know, it's very, very satisfying, you know, because um, most of these keyboards don't have memories, so you're creating something from nothing, and hopefully something that, you know, that's never been heard before. Do you think there's ever a point where you might, you might stop, you might pack it in? I, I, I think about it now and then, actually, yeah. But um, I get such a lot of satisfaction out of, you know, making music. You know, I can't think of... I can't think of anything else that I would rather do. I mean, you know, to actually be able to sit down and create, you know, and make something from nothing is so um, fulfilling. I'm very lucky.